The uh, U.S. Air Force has launched a new assault on Islamic State positions outside Kobani in northern Syria. Uh, Turkey, though, providing limited support for the U.S. operation. It has approved drone reconnaissance flights, but has not yet opened up its air bases for American warplanes. And uh, many Kobani refugees willing to go back and join the fight against Islamic State are actually being trapped inside Turkey. And RT's Murad Gazdiev now reports from just outside that war zone. That tree line is on Syrian territory. Just behind it is Kobani, where all the fighting is taking place. And there's actually just been an airstrike. We could feel the tremor all the way over here. The, the very ground shook. Now this is as close as we're gonna get to Kobani. In fact, we are pushing it as it is. We're expecting one of those, one of those police cars over there, military cars rather, to come over here at any moment. In the best case scenario, it will be a warning. In the worst case scenario, it will be tear gas. Just behind us are a group of Kurds watching helplessly as jihadists overrun their city and airstrikes pulverize their homes. Worst of all, they say, is that they are being prevented by Turkey from joining their brethren in the defense of Kobani. But Kurds are fighting for their city, and not all of them are men. Kurdish women are both mothers and fighters, and right now we're at war with the so-called Islamic State, which is Islamic in name only. They slaughter children. They are true terrorists. Up to 10,000 Muslim mothers, sisters and daughters have taken up arms and joined Kurdish militias in Syria, and now they're fighting against the Islamic State. The group is known for kidnapping women by the hundreds, reportedly using them as sex slaves for the jihadists. But for those defenders injured in the bitter street fighting, there's no guarantee of medical help. This is one of the ambulances that's ferrying injured Kurds, both civilians and fighters, from Kobani to the various hospitals here in Turkey. This doesn't happen often. A Kurdish fighter says he spent hours at the border crossing to Turkey, trying to secure passage for his injured comrades. One by one, they died during the wait. Once the soldiers realized the refugees were dead, they said, now you can cross with the bodies. To me, it's clear they died because they waited so long. I cannot forget that. Turkey disputes this, saying that it provides prompt medical attention to anyone who needs it. Meanwhile, the Kurds continue to bury their dead. Here, four female fighters who died defending their hometown from the Islamic State. Morad Gazdiev, RT, from the Turkey-Syria border.